Forming a plan is an essential tool for farmers to make decisions on both the amount and type of fertiliser needed to grow grass and crops on their farm. The first thing to do is ensure you soil sample your farm every two to four years. This will give you a good indication of the fertility of your soil and provide you with the information to develop a nutrient management plan. It is important to take a good representative soil sample, one for every two to four hectares of ground, to monitor the effectiveness of your fertiliser strategy. Lime should be applied to the farm based on your soil sample results. Lime neutralises acidity in the soil and raises the soil pH to the required level for the crop being grown. A soil pH of 6.3 to 6.5 is recommended for grassland crops on mineral soils and leads to unlocking of major nutrients such as phosphorus. Looking at the soil pH we can see that 40% of the farm is below the optimum of 6.3. Applying lime to these paddocks will address this issue. Aim to have soil P and K at index 3 in all fields across the farm. In combination with the correct liming programme, this will lead to optimum soil fertility and improved nitrogen use efficiency. Chemical P should not be spread on index 4 soils. Looking at the soil fertility report after taking the soil samples, we can see the areas of the farm that need improvement. As we can see, almost two thirds of the farm is below optimum of index three for K and almost a quarter of the farm below optimum for P. Aim to use slurry as efficiently as possible by targeting it to your silage ground to replace offtakes and also to your index one and two soils. A thousand gallons to the acre of good quality cattle slurry is similar to a bag of 9530 if spread by low emission slurry spreader in the springtime. Developing a nutrient management plan can help you achieve optimum fertility across the farm, improve crop performance, improve nitrogen efficiency and reduce environmental losses.